Back in the 19th century, European anthropologists discovered a similarity between the skulls of Europeans, Horn Africans, North Africans, people of the Middle East, and South Asians. They invented a term called Caucasian to broadly classify these populations. <laughs> the origin of this term is the discovery of a skull in the Caucasus Mountains by a German anthropologist named Johann Blumenbach. If somebody was to search for empirical proof of the existence of the so-called white race, or looking for a way to define whiteness genetically, Caucasoid populations would be the prime target for their research. But with modern genetic research, we know there is quite a lot of genetic diversity among the so-called Caucasians. And in this video, we will find out how different Caucasian populations relate to one another, what clusters they form, as well as attempt to answer the question of whether or not the white race is a genetic reality. I build a phylogenetic tree and a 2D PCA chart for West Eurasians or Caucasians on the basis of FST runs. Here is a quick reference for the formula used to measure the fixation index, or FST, between two populations. I used 1240K plus human origins dataset from RikeLab. Here are the FST stats. These FST statistics projected onto a PCA revealed three separate clusters. European and Middle Eastern cluster, East African cluster, and a South Asian cluster. Here is the 2D PCA with all relevant populations. It needs to be mentioned that the South Asian and European clusters are significantly closer to one another than the East African cluster is to either of them. Here is the phylogenetic map based on this data. I supplemented my data set for PCA with F2 statistics generated by Admixtools to improve the accuracy of my analysis. Here is the formula used to measure F2 distances between populations. F2 between two populations is simply the square of total allele difference between them. Here is the 2D PCA generated on the basis of FST plus F2 statistics. They show pretty much all the same trends as the only FST-based PCA showed. And here is the phylogenetic tree. The phylogenetic tree, based on FST plus F2 statistics, also very closely resembles the one based on only FST. I found it a little surprising that Europeans, or so-called white people, fell into two relatively distinct subclusters. Spaniards ended up clustering with West Asians, while Finns fell closest to Central Asian Tajiks. This suggests that the West and South of Europe is more West Asian-like, whereas the North and East is more Central Asian-like. This could be explained by the abundance of ancient North Eurasian admixture in Tajiks and Finns, which shifts them closer together. I added more European populations to my analysis to identify which Europeans fell in the Central Asian subcluster and which fell in the West Asian subcluster. I added more European populations to my analysis using the same anchors as before. Here is the 2D PCA built on the basis of this data. With the addition of extra European populations, we see that most Europeans, which includes Spanish, Greeks, French, and Croatians, fall in the West Asian subcluster. Only Finns and Russians fall in the Central Asian subcluster. This already poses a threat to the idea that the white race is a genetic reality. If it was, all Europeans would be a part of the same subcluster, which isn't the case in reality. Western and Southern Europeans cluster with West Asians, whereas Northeast Europeans cluster with Central Asians. I added Tunisians, Berbers, and Estonians to the data set. Here's the PCA with them included. This PCA run revealed that Berbers fall intermediate between Ethiopian Jews and Saudis while Russians fall intermediate between Finns and Croats. The position of Berbers may be explained by affinities between East Africans and ancestral North Africans, which contributed significantly to the ancestry of Berbers. Here is the phylogenetic map constructed on the basis of this dataset. I found it interesting that Gujarati A clusters with West Asians rather than Punjabis. That can be explained by the fact that this population has heavy Iranian Neolithic farmer and Sintashto admixture which pushes them closer to West Asians. One big secret that this analysis reveals is that Europeans are very closely related to West Asians, despite the presence of excess hunter-gatherer admixture in Europeans. 
Apparently this hunter-gatherer admixture is too little and not present in all of Europe to an equal extent for all Europeans to cluster with one another. The fact that the Russians cluster further from the Spanish than Iranians demonstrates this phenomenon perfectly. Both Russians and Spaniards are white people, yet Russians fall in the Central Asian cluster, while Spaniards fall in the West Asian cluster which are very distinct population clusters, and populations belonging to these clusters are usually not considered white in the traditional sense. If our definition of whiteness includes Russians and Spaniards, it also has to include Tajiks, Lebanese, Iranians, and Georgians. Do you consider these people white? In order to search for a uniquely European population that does not fall in the West Asian or Central Asian clusters, I analyzed Russian Pomeris and Samus who have less CHE and ANF admixture and would, in theory, cluster further from West and Central Asians. After adding Samus, the PCA changed completely. It seems that the East Asian admixture in Samus pulled them away from the rest of the Caucasians to a great degree. Phylogenetic analysis reveals that the Samus are in fact more distant to Europeans than Ethiopian Jews and East Africans are. Surprisingly, Russian Pomers do not cluster with Samus as I had expected, but rather cluster with the Finns and Estonians. In conclusion, although we can define the white race in terms of genetic clusters, we can't isolate white people in a cluster separate from the rest of the Caucasoids. The narrowest definition of white does not include all white people, and the definition that includes all white people inadvertently also includes ethnicities that aren't traditionally considered white, such as Georgians, Tajiks, Lebanese, etc.